real truth. Mr. President Trump, what gives? Why is Donald Trump firing the Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper, during this time? The election is about two weeks in the books. We have a contestation of this election. Uh, currently, you have many um, legal battles that are going on in multiple courts across this country and specific states that are being contested. And you're not seeing the media accurately report very many things as of late. As of late, I mean in the last five years, probably 10, 20, 30, and 40, and 50, and 60 years, probably longer. Anyway, I digress. Where was I? All right. Mark Esper, former Secretary of Defense, recently fired by Donald Trump. And you're going to have the media spinning it the way it's going to. I'm going to show you a clip here um, of CNN describing it the way that they do. And I want everybody to understand that this video is going to regard um, how the deep state actually operates, all right? And what the deals that they make behind closed doors and these deals that the mainstream media just does not want to report. Why? Because they collude with one another. Anytime they blame anybody for colluding with Russia or whatever, they themselves are actually doing it because they like to... Um, do these deals that profit from the foreign conflict, the, the foreign policy or the public policy that we have domestically in this country, this is what these people do. They profit from their positions. And Mark Esper is no exception, nor is General Mattis. And I would like to express in this video my discontent. Firstly, firstly their connections to the deep establishment or the military industrial complex and how it affects our foreign policy and how people should be upset about this. This should not be allowed to happen. CNN should be reporting this. But in any case, Mark Esper was fired. And it turns out Mark Esper, uh, as well as General Mattis, these people have connections to the private sector, specifically with our defense contracting companies. All right. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you this clip and we'll get into it. Instead of letting Esper turn in that resignation letter, it appears the president has just flat out terminated him. And we'll have to wait to get details because remember, the last time the president fired a defense secretary uh, with Mattis when he resigned in protest, excuse me, the president and his aides tried to frame it as a retirement was happening when actually we found out shortly thereafter that Mattis was resigning in protest over the president's decisions when it came to troop withdrawals. So we'll have to wait to see what are the details here with Esper and how exactly this went down. But all right, so you've seen the clip. Mark Esper was fired. Everybody wonders why. Um, you've, you've got multiple news sources talking about Trump removing troops from Syria, from Afghanistan, from Iraq, all of these places. And you hear this common theme that's really disgusting to me being a former combat veteran is that removing troops puts our troops in danger. That is a spin that you can never convince me on in a million gazillion years. That makes zero sense. It's like it's like Senator Corker coming out and saying we're not fueling Saudi ships and everything else, but we're still giving them the bombs because their troops don't know how to fight uh, effectively on the ground. They kill too many civilians, so you sell them bombs to kill more civilians. That never makes sense to me. Refueling their, their equipment right now, that has stopped. Um, you know, so we're, well, no, well, that's, we're, we're selling them bombs. We're selling them bombs. And the purpose in selling those bombs is to keep them from killing more innocent civilians because they, uh, you know, they're really 
poor at conducting military operations. They're very poor at conducting military operations. So anyway, I, I don't want to bait that with you right now. What I'll say is there's complications with that. And I highly recommend you looking up Senator Corker talking about that openly sometime last year after uh, Khashoggi jet gets chopped into bits, right? Anyway, I digress. Where was I? All right. So Mark Esper uh, is fired. Trump is removing troops. And these people do not like that, that foreign policy position of removing troops from these footholds that we have established from these ridiculous wars where we are changing the regimes of these countries who don't cooperate in the name of corporate capitalism, or what I like to call predatory corporate capitalism, during which time we're taking the wealth from the resources of those com countries who don't cooperate with this global order that includes uh, a, uh, an interconnected global bureaucracy of individuals and families that control weapons and all these different things that are involved human trafficking everything that's involved with going to war and um uh war ravaged um countries war plundered countries like libya you know you look into the 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 human uh trafficking that supposedly is going on there this is many years after benghazi's over after we have blood american blood spo spilled on that ground mark esper had prior military service okay and served in the bureaucracy uh, for many, many years, inclu including the Global Intellectual Property Center, um, where he served as executive vice president, as well as the vice president for Europe and Eurasia at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. All right. He was also hired as vice president of government relations at defense contractor Raytheon in July 2010. Now, Raytheon is important here, and it's important to understand what Raytheon represents. They are a defense contractor, okay, which is going to be important for the defense of our country. But what people aren't realizing is that former administrations, like the Obama administration with Joe Biden as the VP and front man in Ukraine and other countries where there was conflict, where Joe Biden was personally responsible for, for managing whatever affairs there were, both public and private, okay? And that's a fact. And it's being covered up by the mainstream media. In any case, Raytheon is sponsoring NFL football teams, specifically the New England Patriots. This was last year I recognized that Raytheon was was plastered all over Foxborough Stadium. All right, Raytheon profits from war. Why is this important? Because Mark Esper left Raytheon prior to becoming the Secretary of Defense. All right, and part of Esper's departure from Raytheon included a deferred compensation package after the year 2022, based partly on Raytheon's stock price at that time. Think about that. You become the Secretary of Defense, and in the meantime, your, your compensation for leaving that position at Raytheon is going to depend on conflict abroad. And you are personally responsible and professionally responsible for managing yourself in a manner that, that uh, is conducive to the well-being and integrity of America. And this guy has personal and private affairs that, that are going to be determined by, I don't know, how does the stock price of uh, Raytheon go up? If there's more conflict, if we need, if there's a need for more defense, and we're using defense as offense, all right, that's the way I see it, and I'm a warfighter, former warfighter. Now I fight the war of uh, on, uh, of ultra consumerism on the soul. All right, we fight that war. We have a, there's a battle, a spiritual battle. This is the problem. You have bureaucrats like this who who highly disagree with Donald Trump's position of removing troops and they will at all cost misinform the public and they won't tell you these things. I mean, it's all out in the open. Uh, this is actually information you get from Wikipedia. I don't consider Wikipedia to be a reliable source necessarily. However, however, they are very quick Wikipedia, and by they, I mean the establishment groups because Wikipedia is misleading. They are a part of the propaganda uh, issue in this country. 
Uh, for example, mm-hmm. later in this in this Wikipedia uh, page, you're going to see that uh, that Trump supposedly fired Esper um, <clears throat> as he was disagreeing with a lot of political opponents. He's in the process of getting rid of a lot of political opponents. And it was simply be motivated by that. And that's not true. This went down. But the other thing is, Brianna, he might just be the first one that's on the chopping block because we know the president has been very unhappy with the attorney general, Bill Barr, because he didn't feel like he prosecuted enough of his political opponents or prosecuted any of his political opponents to the degree that the president wanted. But also the F- these people have been in control of our country for decades and they've sent us from war to war to war. We went from Iraq and Afghanistan to also Yemen, Syria, Libya, and other countries where they're not really reporting things. They are keeping things on on a hush, all right? You're not meant to know so much about these things, but we're directly involved in these things. It's out in the open. We were directly involved in the war in Syria. We started that war. People argue with me, we indirectly funded ISIS. You can call it indirectly or directly. All you're telling me is that we laundered money to a foreign country and that foreign country then sponsored ISIS. That's all you're telling me there, all right? Whether indirectly or whatever, you're so you're 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 admitting that there's there's laundering going on. The laundering of weapons, drugs, all kinds of things. All right, because that's what the exploits are of conflict and war. Weapons, drugs, humans, everything. There's no secret. The secret's out. It's out. And Mark Esper needed out because this is just beginning. This is a movement of enlightenment. We are enlightened to the light of truth. It has shined down upon us and we take it upon ourselves to share that information in an appropriate way and I feel this is as appropriate as it gets it doesn't get more in your face than this CNN's going to spin it any way they want the fact of the matter is Mark Esper had personal interests that I feel uh, left him in a very highly compromised position to do the right thing these people are um, are responsible for all of all, all of our conflict and the moment we try to, to remove ourselves from, from the immorality of a lot of past decisions to go to conflict like that, Mr. Trump, regardless of whether you voted for him or not or liked him or not, this is not about that. I'm an independent mind. I'm not going to get into my voting status. Many people won't like it. But this is part of the issue that I have. A lot of people around Trump were in his group, but they were still connected like this guy, Mr. Esper who obviously railroaded Donald Trump at various points, and Trump lost confidence that this guy would carry out Trump's agenda. It's the president's agenda. You agree to take the job, you're going to help carry that dang agenda out. And he didn't, and and neither did Mattis, or neither did many other people. And this is just an example. doesn't matter whether you like him or not. We are getting rid, and have been getting rid, and this is the movement. That people need to be awakened by this. You look at it for yourself. Esper's departure from Raytheon included a deferred compensation package after 2022 based partly on Raytheon's stock price. All right, now Trump has been building up the military and all these contracting companies are getting these bids and everything else. They're always overpriced. These people make an obscene amount of money. They get their connections Personally, they siphon off part of the taxpayer dollar. They devalue the wealth or the, they devalue our investment in many cases. Um, that's how it goes, um, unfortunately, whether it's reconstruction money, whatever. But that's how it goes. And this is what we get. All right. Mark Asper and then CNN uh, supporting this guy and, and railroading Trump at every cross. It's really disgusting because CNN is promoting war by covering, by the malfeasance that they're doing by, by misreporting. And it's purposely done. This is, this is pure propaganda. These people are actors, and um, they should not be trusted. For those who uh, are joining and, and are listening, you have to stop watching the mainstream media. I'm, they, and that goes for Fox. We have to start uh, uh, getting information from our communities and start listening to one another. 
you know, we're more interconnected than we've ever been and it's time we start doing our own research. It doesn't take much. All right. You connect the dots from here and you see where it goes. These people are set to profit majorly. So if I were to predict conflict, I would predict there will be conflict in the next two years specifically because these people are set to make a lot of money. This guy's secretary of defense. He wants that price to, to go up. So we need a reason to do so. Think about that. There it is, flat out. Mark Esper, why Donald Trump fired him, and why General Mattis is no different. General Mattis, General Dynamics, sitting on the board at General Dynamics, connected privately, so as to continue to profit from conflict. That's what this is all about. These people know it, and that's their problem. That's not my problem. That is their problem that they are invested the way that they are. They should probably do what other people do after military service and go into the private sector away from the government. All right? Because they have no business with their ambition in connecting their foreign affairs uh, with their political responsibilities to their personal uh, investments and interests. There's no place in it. And that's why all these people are, are very wealthy from public service. And it has to stop. It has to go away. And that's all I have to say about that. So everybody have a fantastic night. God bless. And uh, speak that truth. ...who came before us, I am formally announcing that we will implement President Trump's orders to continue our repositioning of forces from those two countries. By January 15th, 2001, excuse me, I clearly am thinking of where this started in 2001. By January 15th, 2021, our forces, their size in Afghanistan will be 2,500 troops.